Hi guys, it's Alexa. Welcome to my channel. First off, did any of you play with Play-Doh growing up? I definitely did. In fact, it was my favorite toy. And I still love to play with it. Not only was it really fun to play with, but it really helped me with my autism in so many ways. As you may know, I have Asperger's syndrome, which is a form of high functioning autism. And in this video, I will be telling you all about why I think Play-Doh is a good sensory tool for autism. First, let's get the Play-Doh out of the container. I finally got it out of the container after minutes of trying to get it out. That's the only downside of Play-Doh, is that it's very hard to get out of its container. It's because they put it in a very small, narrow container. This won't be a problem for little kids, but adults can't fit their hands into this Play-Doh container. Maybe it's because Play-Doh is mostly catered to little kids. I don't know. Now let's get into the reasons why I think Play-Doh is good for autism. First off, it is very soft and squishy. And you can even stretch it. Ooh. <laughs> yes, very stretchy. It's not as soft as slime. It's more of a firmer type of soft. Kind of like a putty, but it's still a great stress reliever. I could squeeze this all day. Squeezing and squishing Play-Doh makes me feel more relaxed. It's like a stress ball. A very moldable stress ball. That's another reason why Play-Doh is good for autism, is because you can mold it however you want. People with autism, especially kids with autism, oftentimes have a vivid imagination and love to create things. I think Play-Doh is a great way to use your imagination and be creative. You can build things with Play-Doh just like you can with clay. I'll show you an example. I'm going to use this Play-Doh to build a dog. See what I just created? I know it isn't the best looking dog, but see how moldable this stuff is? It's amazing. It keeps its shape very well, so you can even play with it like an action figure. <laughs> Not only that, but it's satisfying to smush your creations after you're done with them. Another great thing about Play-Doh is the smell. Who would not love the smell of Play-Doh? It smells very salty, like salt water, and it makes you just want to eat it. Do not eat it, guys. I actually did eat Play-Doh when I was little and I was fine. It's non-toxic, but it is not edible and it's not a good idea. Although Play-Doh has its downsides, I still think it's a great sensory tool for people with autism and other sensory processing disorders. And it's definitely a good alternative to slime or silly putty. Comment down below if you want me to test out slime and putty as sensory tools for autism. Overall, I definitely give Play-Doh a thumbs up as a sensory tool for autism. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have autism or you have a child with autism and you're looking for a good sensory tool, do yourself a favor and buy Play-Doh. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I post new videos every Friday. You may also follow me on Twitter at Alexa underscore Gerard 98 and on Instagram at Alexa underscore Gerard. If you have any questions or requests for upcoming videos, please comment them down below. Also, do you have autism? If so, have you ever played with Play-Doh? And has it helped you with your autism? Please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Bye.